Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a special bulletin here on The Angry Astronaut, being released at a time that I generally don't release bulletins because half of my audience is asleep in North America or in the Western Hemisphere in general. But this is a pretty important thing. It appears that not only was my prediction wrong for a launch license to be issued by 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, because after all, it was a federal holiday on that day. There's no way the FAA could have released it, even though there are many government offices that were observing actual Veterans Day on Saturday, not on Friday, but the FAA was indeed observing that particular day. But, you see, I'm already forgetting when U.S. federal holidays are now that I live in Europe. Um, that all being the case, though, uh, it appears that I may have been more wrong than I thought because the FAA may not be releasing this launch license immediately given the fact that Starship is obviously still not quite ready to go. As of the dead of night, around midnight Eastern Standard Time, uh, when weather was threatening and there was sporadic rainfall, SpaceX went and destacked S25 from B9 again. And also the hot stage ring was removed again. And all of this may be leading up to some work being performed on S25 because there may be some damage to a flap motor. That is to say, the systems that control the movement of one of the flaps. That is what I am hearing. That is certainly by no means confirmed. And one of the many things that we hear from Boca Chica that may or may not be accurate all of that having been said, though, it's obvious that Starship was in no way ready to fly a month ago, a month and a half ago, as the testimony in front of Congress would indicate. The FAA wasn't the one really holding up this entire process. SpaceX, understandably, had a lot of work to do in order to get this rocket ready to go and to give it a substantially better chance of making it to orbit the second time around, especially given how many modifications are being made. Now, I've seen some speculation out there as to possibly there may be some sort of uh, last-minute checks going on that since they have a little bit of extra time, they unstack the rocket just to, you know, check out a few things on the hot stage ring again, etc., etc. That's nonsense. There's no way SpaceX would risk unstacking this mammoth rocket just for a couple of last-second tests to make some nervous people feel better. There has to be a clear issue that needs to be addressed, an issue that seems to be recurring over and over again, unless this is some sort of new development. This ship's been stacked and unstacked repeatedly. And you don't do that, regardless of how routine this may look, regardless of how casual this process may look to all of us. You don't pick up over 100 tons worth of stainless steel and engines and propulsion systems and avionics, electronics, all that nonsense, and just lift it, put it down, lift it, put it back, etc., this isn't that simple. This is a delicate machine. This is something to where the more you lift it, the more you move it around, the more things that can go wrong. They would not be unstacking this unless they had to. I don't care what anybody else has to say about this. This is not something that you do with such a mammoth rocket and something that contains this many sensitive electronics unless you absolutely need to do it. So what does this mean? Well, obviously it means that Starship isn't ready to go yet. However, it also means that they are extremely determined, by they I mean Elon Musk and SpaceX, to get this thing going as rapidly as possible. I don't think they unstacked it because of the weather or anything like that. I don't think the weather was severe enough to threaten a full stack to where they would risk unstacking it in the middle of the night like that. I, I really don't think that that was the factor. 
Instead, there is another technical issue and they are pressing forward as rapidly as they possibly can to get that issue corrected and to move forward as rapidly as possible in the way that Elon Musk does things. And once again, this kind of goes hand in hand with a recent expose that came out with Reuters, Reuters, I keep forgetting what they're, they're called, one of the mainstream news agencies that did an expose, a very lengthy and detailed story about all of the safety issues out at SpaceX and a vast number of unreported accidents that have taken place over the last several years at Boca Chica and elsewhere. The fact that they were willing to to unstack Starship in the dark and in inclement weather, etc. When admittedly it's not the safest thing to be doing that unless you have to. Well, that again seems to be going hand in hand with what was claimed in this story. But once again, I'm not buying it completely yet. I'm going to be coming out with my own episode, analyzing this story in great detail, all of the different accidents that are described, and I'm going to be comparing that to other companies in the industry, publicly traded companies like ULA, who have a harder time keeping things like this concealed. I'd really like to see if SpaceX is indeed as dangerous a working environment as they claim, or if this is just another media exaggeration another example of Elon bashing. I haven't made a decision on what my position is going to be on all of that yet. Still have a lot of research to do, but I'm going to be bringing that to you in the next few days. And finally, I'm coming back across the Atlantic to cover everything happening in North America, especially in regards to Starship and Vulcan Centaur. I leave tomorrow. And if this is something you would like to support, well, all the details are in the description. Either Patreon or PayPal are the best ways to support me. I'd really appreciate it because obviously this is not the least expensive thing to do. A lot of this stuff is being uh, covered by some uh, viewers of mine when it comes to airline tickets. I'm being generously granted some frequent flyer miles to take care of at least that part of it. But nevertheless, there are certainly a lot of other expenses that I could use help with, but enough of that. So I'm going to go ahead and keep you guys up to date on everything happening with Starship. Hopefully, this is not a serious problem. Hopefully, we will see Starship restacked again today and moving forward with an imminent launch. But until then, I urge all of you to stay angry about space. <laughs>